Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 20 of our Southampton career mode here on FIFA 21. In today's episode, we have two league games, away at Newcastle and then at home to Man City. Man City, top of the table, looking like they could be Premier League champions. Four points ahead of Liverpool and played a game less and Newcastle are three points above the relegation zone. So we definitely should be picking up three points there. But like I said in the last episode, football is a funny old game and anything is possible. But the last episode was absolutely incredible. A 3-0 win against Brighton in the league. And then in the FA Cup quarter final, it was Southampton 4, Man City 4. And we won 4-2 on penalties. Two late goals from Che Adams to keep us in it. First one was in the 91st minute, I think it was, to make it 3-3. And then in the 118th minute to make it 4-4. And then Gunn, the young goalkeeper, saves two penalties to put us through to the FA Cup semi-finals. And let's take a quick look who we have. We have Arsenal. Wow. But yeah. That was just an unbelievable game. It has to be the best game I've ever played on FIFA in career mode. It really, really has to be. And the fact that we won just made it even better. So we start today's episode by going to St. James's Park. Let's see if we can pick up another three points. Mayo on the ball into Oxley Chamberlain out to Ryan Bertrand on this left hand side. Oxley Chamberlain once again 1 0. What a strike from the Ox. Three minutes played. We've opened the scoring away at Newcastle. Wow. Oxley Chamberlain has been incredible for us this season. Look at the space. Newcastle give him no one closes him down Dubravka in the Newcastle goal no chance cool what a start to the match Oxlade Chamberlain with his fifth Premier League goal of the season Romeo on the ball fantastic pass now to Ryan Bertrand on this left hand side now Oxlade Chamberlain Nathan Redmond Danny Ings, this is fantastic football. Now Saracho, can we fight Oxley Chamberlain? We can, decent first touch. And it's a strong but good tackle. And here Newcastle come, are they going to open? Open the scoring, grab the equalising goal. Almiron on the ball, it's very good play from the midfielder. And he's got past a couple of players, but Romeu doing what he does best. Breaking up the attack, Saracho, Danny Ings, right hand side is Theo Walcott. Where the hell is the Newcastle defence? Theo Walcott! Brilliant save from Dubravka. That should have been 2-0. That should have been 2-0. Oh my god, how is it not? Matt Ritchie on this right-hand side for Newcastle. Oh, it's poor defending. He's got past Ryan Bertrand. Decent turn onto his left foot. Now Callum Wilson who lashes it past Forster for 1-1. One, one. That was so, so bad from myself. I didn't make a tackle with Ryan Bertrand and then I took control of Twanzebe and did nothing once again. And it left Callum Wilson in loads of space and it's a very good finish from the Newcastle number 13 with his 8th Premier League goal of the season. It's game back on, it's 1-1. Ryan Bertrand on this left hand side into Oxley chamberlain Look at the space here for Sriracho! Oh my god, I thought that was going in. It's gone just wide. Oh, that is so close to being 2-1. Unfortunately, goal kick and it remains 1-1 with five minutes left to play of the first half. Wow. Since we opened the scoring, it's been a very, very open game. Almiron on the ball, plays it forward to St. Maximan on this left-hand side, and he's just about kept it in. 
and he's got three players arriving in the box. Is he going to pick one of them out? He plays it short into Almiron, across into Callum Wilson on the volley, and Newcastle take the lead for the first time in this match. It's 2-1. What a goal. That was a very, very good goal from Newcastle. And Wilson finished off the move brilliantly on the volley. Look at that. No Southampton man on Callum Wilson in the box. You cannot be giving him that sort of space and time in the box, man. You cannot. That is ridiculous. He's one away from double figures and he's on a hat-trick here at St. James's Park. Nathan Redmond, Oxley chamberlain now Soracho, Walker-Peters, hopefully we can reply very, very quickly. All right, Romeo into Soracho, forward to Danny Ings. This is very good play. Now Nathan Redmond out to Ryan Bertrand on this left-hand side. Now Oxley chamberlain Soracho, Romeo, this is very good and patient play. Soracho with the long-range effort. And it's a simple save for Dubravka. But a good response from us. And are we going to win possession back? No. Almiron does very well. Strong tackle against Soracho. To win it back for his side. And Walker Peters intercepts. Right, here we go. Soracho. Romeo forward to Nathan Redmond. To his left hand side is Oxley Chamberlain looking for his second goal in this match. Back into Nathan Redmond. Now Soracho who lashes it towards goal. And it's going to fall to Theo Walker. A cross in. And Newcastle defend very, very well. But wow, since Newcastle took the lead for the first time, it's been all Southampton. But unfortunately, they remain in the lead by two goals to one. St. Maximan on this left-hand side for Newcastle. Oh, it's a great tackle from Oxley chamberlain Right, can we go up the other end and grab the equalising goal? Che Adams into Romeo. Is Edouard going to make me a forward run? Yes, he is. Look at the space ahead of the striker. Surely for 2-2. Edouard, what a block. Fantastic block from Yedlin. And oh, I'm back in my suit. Fantastic. Just under 20 minutes left to play. It's going straight to Vestergaard. Is it going to fall to a Southampton man? Yes, it does. And Che Adams. But it's a simple save at his near post for the Newcastle goalkeeper. 15 minutes left to play. And Newcastle remain in the lead by two goals to one. At this point, I'll be happy with a point. Forster with the ball. Decent throw into Romeo. Now Che Adams, left-hand side is Oxley chamberlain forward to Edouard. Can we make the score 2-2 with five minutes left to play of the 90? Edouard, Sean to Oxley chamberlain Now Soracho, and the shot gets blocked. But can we keep the attack alive? Nope, Lewis wins it against Soracho, and I think that's going to be game over. I think Newcastle are going to be victorious. They've given us possession. Che Adams, left-hand side is Edouard with the shot. What a save from Dubravka incredible save in the dying seconds of this match to keep his side in the lead that save could have got Newcastle three points there's the full time whistle here at St James's Park and Newcastle are victorious by two goals to one my defending was pretty poor in this game the worst it's been for quite some time and Newcastle took advantage of it but I don't think we deserve to lose to be honest we should have got at least a point but up next, we have Man City, who we knocked out of the FA Cup in the last episode. So they are definitely looking for some revenge. So let's see if we can bounce back by picking up three points against Man City. on the ball lovely back heel into Zinchenko forward to Sergio Aguero and thankfully that shot gets blocked and we've come away with the ball very very nicely right hand side is Theo Walcott where the hell is Zinchenko completely out of position are we going to open the scoring very early on no we're not it's a fantastic save from Edison but the attack is not over Soracho Romeo into Oxley chamberlain left hand side is Ryan Bertrand across in and it goes straight into Edison Wow, what an opportunity that was to open the scoring. Theo really should have buried that. 
And here we go. Danny Ings just behind him is Saracho. And it's a fantastic first touch. Saracho, bottom corner, 1 0 after just 11 minutes. What a start to this match. Just a couple of seconds ago, we had a brilliant opportunity with Theo Walcott and Edison pulled off a very, very good save. But this time, no chance for the Man City goalkeeper. It's a very good finish from Saracho. How many goals has he got in the Premier League this season? Seven. Wow. What a season the midfielder is having. Southampton 1, Manchester City 0. Kevin De Bruyne on the ball for Man City. Looking to reply immediately, but thankfully we break up the attack. Now Romeo, can we find Nathan Redmond making a forward run? Yes, we can. And look at the players arriving in support. A cross goes into the far post. In Saracho. Oh, Edison pulls off a brilliant save to keep the score at 1-0. Saracho almost grabbing his second goal of the game. But Edison denies him. Twan Zebe on the ball. Forward to Danny Ings. Now Saracho. Forward to Theo Walcott. Bottom corner 2-0 after 22 minutes. Wow. Just like the first goal, seconds before it, we had a glorious opportunity to score a goal. Edison pulled off a brilliant save from a Sriracha header. Seconds later, we've doubled our lead. It's a very good finish from Theo Walker on his left foot. He's one away from double figures. Rodri on the ball, plays it short into Kevin De Bruyne. Now Sergio Aguero, is he going to shoot? Yes, he does. And he lashes it past Forster for 2-1. Man City's first sight at goal. And they score. Unbelievable. Maybe I should have defended a little bit better. But I just didn't want to make a tackle. And bring him down for a penalty. Sinchenko on the ball. Plays it short into Sergio Aguero. Forward to Raheem Sterling. What a pass. A header from Raheem Sterling. And it's 2-2. After 35 minutes. What a finish from the winger. But let's talk about the pass. Where is my defence? Look at the space between the two centre-backs. Why is there a big gap between Vestergaard and Twan Zebe? Look, the two Southampton players in the screen. Or on screen, sorry. Why is there a massive gap for Sterling just to run into? Look, holy smokes. Great pass and what a finish. Absolutely incredible. In the FA Cup quarterfinal, there were eight goals. We're halfway there already after 35 minutes. Sergio Aguero on the ball for Man City. Oh, it's fantastic play from the striker for to Kevin De Bruyne. Man City have taken the lead seconds before the break. They were 2-0 down and now they are 3-2 up. What a turnaround. That was fantastic play from Sergio Aguero just to skip past Twan Zebe and then play a fantastic pass forward to the Belgian and he puts it away very, very nicely. Kevin De Bruyne with his first Premier League goal of the season. Has he not been playing or something? What the? Manchester City and there's the half-time whistle at the break. It's Southampton 2, Man City 3. Zinchenko plays it forward to Raheem Sterling. Now to Rodri. Decent play here from Man City. Sergio Aguero. Sterling once again. Now Kevin De Bruyne are surrounded by red shirts, but he does well to find a teammate. Now Rodri completely done me. Sergio Aguero skips past Vestergaard. Now Sterling. Is he going to strike it towards goal? Nope, he tries to find 
Sergio Aguero and thankfully the keeper comes out and picks up the ball. Oxley chamberlain forward to Danny Ings, out to that right hand side and Theo Walker, what a pass he gets beyond the Man City man, one on one with Edison, surely for 3-3 three, three. and he puts it wide. Oh Theo, that should have been your 10th Premier League goal of the season. Right, I'm going to make some subs. Let's bring off Nathan Redmond and Oxley chamberlain Oh, I forgot to put Ward-Prowse on the bench. He's been injured for so long, I've just kind of forgot about him. Oh, God, Smallbone on. Actually, we'll leave Oxley chamberlain on for now and maybe Smallbone in 10, 15 minutes or so. So Nathan Redmond off for Idwa. And I think that'll do for now. Gabriel Jesus on the ball for Man City. Now Kyle Walker, Bernardo Silva. Walker once again plays it backwards to Laporte. Now Gabriel Jesus. This is very good play from City. Rodri looking to grab their fourth goal and completely bury this game. Kevin De Bruyne. Left-hand side is Sterling who should be offside but he's not. Okay, yes he is. A little bit of a late call. <laughs> right, 59 minutes. We need to score very, very quickly. Twanzebe forward to Siracho. Now Danny Ings, left-hand side is Idwa. Can we find Oxlade Chamberlain? Yes, we can. Surely this time we're going to bury it for 3-3. Three, three. Oh, no, it's a poor finish. That was all me. That was a terrible, terrible finish from myself. I tried to turn it onto his right foot to curl it into that bottom corner to Edison's left. Oh my god, 61 minutes gone. Can we finally equalise? It's going straight to Danny Ings. And the keeper catches. And we've at just under half hour left to play. Man City remain in the lead by three goals to two. Walker Peters on the ball. Romeu. Now Oxley Chamberlain. Left hand side is Idwa surely for 3 3. Idwa on his left foot. Bottom corner. Finally, we've equalised. It's all square at 3-3 three, three, with 9 minutes of the 90 left to play oh we deserve that goal we definitely deserve it what a pass from Oxley chamberlain and a brilliant finish from Idwa we've had two glorious opportunities in this second 45 to equalise and finally we've done it Kevin De Bruyne on this right hand side, Bernardo Silva, now Walker, is he going to put in a cross, he doesn't, he plays it short into Kevin De Bruyne, skips past Romeo and the Belgian is still going and thankfully the shot gets blocked, Whew. I'll be very very happy with a point, oh my god, yeah I'll be very very happy with a point, even though I think based on this second half performance, we deserve to win I think, Little chip into Gabriel Jesus and Twanzebe wins it. Here we go. Che Adams, Oxley chamberlain Left-hand side is Idwa. Is he onside? No. Oh, God. Lionel, you took so long. I thought he was onside. And I think that's going to wrap up the game for a 3-3 draw. Another cracking game. Or is there time to break away here? Over the top to Che Adams. Can he get there? He's got fresh legs. I think he might. Yes, he is. He's one on one with Edison. Bottom corner, Che Adams. A late goal once again against Manchester City for 4 3. We've taken all three points at home to Man City. Oh, what an ending to this game. John Stones, I think it was. Yeah, number five. Just couldn't keep up with Che Adams. He wins the foot race and he puts it away so, so nicely. Southampton 4, Manchester City 3. Again, after facing Man City, I think I need a lay down. <laughs> what a game against Man City once again. We went 2-0 up, 3-2 down and then 4-3 up to win the game. Absolutely incredible. I think we deserve to win as well we wasted a few great chances in the second half but thankfully in the end it didn't matter because Che Adams bangs in the winner in the 94th minute 
full-time result here at the St. Mary Stadium. Southampton 4, Manchester City 3. So with seven games left to play, we are seven points behind Wolves. Played a game less as well. Do you guys think we could finish in fifth place? Which would be absolutely incredible. Let me know in the comments down below. Leicester, Chelsea and Arsenal all on 50 points. At the top, Man City on 72 points. Man U in second on 69 points. Three points behind them in third are Liverpool and Spurs completing that top four on 65 points at the bottom Brighton 20 points Sheffield United on 22 points and Burnley are now in the relegation zone on goal difference West Brom and Burnley both on 26 points it's been West Brom Sheffield United and Brighton in that bottom three for a very very long time but Burnley have slipped into the relegation zone now in 18th place. Next episode, we start away at Aston Villa and then at home to Manchester United. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.